Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again, or if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you're interested in fish and aquariums and all those types of things, by all means click that subscribe button and then you won't miss any videos in the future. Today's video uh, isn't going to be a surprise for those who follow me on other forms of social media, check out the links in the description. Um, but I've had a few queries and questions recently asked me how the puffer fish is getting on, the Pahaka puffer particularly. Uh, I'm afraid to say he's no longer with us. Um, I shared some of this, I thought I had made a video, but obviously not, but I shared some on some of the other social media and talked about what happened. And the short answer is, I don't really know. Um, he was perfectly fine, happily feeding away. I'd given him some snails. Um, and he was going through the tank, hunting them as he does. And within an hour, I think I went out and did a bit of shopping, came back and lying motionless dead don't know what happened and um, tested the water as you would do all those sorts of things consulted lots of puffer specialists and forums and things like that and no mystery um which is which is bad because obviously we've lost the fish and it's one of my favorite fishes if not the favorite fish that i've got at the moment um, but you never like to lose to a mystery because at least if there's something that you can point to you can say ah well I won't do that thing again but if you don't know it's hard to rectify the situation but um, it is what it is and uh, yeah I'm just gutted really but anyway I wanted to talk about puffers in general and well more specifically puffer care because obviously they're getting a little more popular um, I noticed the king of DIY has got himself a Fahaka puffer fish uh, and I know people who have been on this channel for a while know that the king of DIY isn't necessarily my favourite person and have got some form um, but just to clarify a few things I don't hate the guy I mean he's got some great fish he's got some skills he's good at building fish tanks and over engineering stands and all those great things um, and he picks some really interesting fish. He's obviously got great tastes. He's got a fahaka, um, a brilliant puffer fish in my opinion. And he's had his arowana, he's had his um, stingrays and all sorts of interesting fish. Now, I'm not going to go over old ground and see why I think some of the things he does is wrong. Um, but let's just say he has a little bit of history with over-exaggeration possibly. And a little bit of um, dubious nuggets of knowledge that he likes to share. Um, sometimes get the feeling that he just googles things five minutes beforehand and then tries to reel that off verbatim and doesn't really work so that a little bit of lying and manipulation of the truth i'll just have a little sip of my five gallon drink i decided that i was just going to stop watching his stuff because it was annoying me i don't hate him there's certainly none of that i think he's a bit of a dick but that's fine plenty of people think i'm a bit of a dick and they're probably right I think you can go through life being a dick and that's fine. As long as you find your own way, that's surely fine. Everyone can get along handsomely. Um, but yeah, I saw that he'd got a puffer fish, so I thought I'd check it out. And I, I looked at some of his videos. And the, the last one, which fairly recently, I think I watched it yesterday, it had me going, oh, what is he saying? And in particular, this was moving a puffer fish. Um, well, let's have a look at the clip. A lot of people said you can't have puffers touch the air or come out of the water or anything like that because they'll puff up. Well, puffers actually evolved to suck in or to puff up by sucking in actual water, not air. Come check him out. But they can use air to suck up as well, or to puff up, I should say. This is a short trip. We're going to run him directly over. He'll be just fine. People aren't saying that you can't let a puffer fish touch air because it will make them puff up. It's what happens when that puffer fish puffs up when it's out of air. Because if you don't know how to get that air back out of the fish, then it's often deadly. Um, and they just didn't touch on that. Yes, a puffer fish will stress and it will puff up when it's stressed. And what's a good way to make it stressed? Slapping a net on it, bringing it out into the air. All these things are stressful, so you're increasing the risk of that happening. Thankfully, nothing like that did happen. Um, puffing up is a sign of stress and or defense. It doesn't necessarily mean he's uh, in trouble. I've never seen him this close up before, but I'm just mesmerized by how big he is. This is one of the 8-inch nets, and he's definitely almost the entire width of it. Okay, let's get him going. You guys ready? 
Tyrese, one, two, three, let's go, my man. They do have beaks, too, so he could technically fight through this. Right now, he's not moving, he's not flopping, anything like that. He's such a well-behaved little fella. Now, I don't really have a problem with many of the things he does. Most of them are just, they're not the conventional way of um, looking after these animals. But that's fine, not everything has to be conventional, everyone finds their own way of doing things and most of that's fine, and it shouldn't be a problem. But when you do have over a million subscribers and you do call yourself the self-addressed king of the aquarium hobby, um, it's probably worth people like me, not necessarily me, but someone to give them a reminder that just because you've been making videos a long time doesn't mean that you're an expert in anything. Go on. Go on. There you go, bro. Yeah, so look how small he looks in this big tank. He's right here. He's just going to lay down for a while before he starts exploring. He's not puffed up or stressed. He's moving his fins. Uh, he's not gasping for air or anything like that. He looks perfectly normal. That's exactly what that fish is doing. Look how dark that fish is. It's really stressed. It is breathing quickly. And that is not a happy fish. They do puff up, and it can be deadly if they do it out of water. So if you're ever buying a puffer from a store or something like that, ask them that the puffer stays underwater the whole time. So that means if they're going to use a net, they corral that into, let's say, this water cup. If it's a little baby puffer, you get it into there, then you pour it into the bag. Because if they inhale and they bring in a lot of air, it's then our job to get it back out of their system. And that's a pretty violent thing, because if they don't get it all out, you have to basically grab that puffer, you hold it vertically, you know, so his mouth is up, and you shake him, and you're trying to burp it, essentially. <laughs> and if you don't get it out, it's usually fatal. So, you know, you want to avoid that. So who are you going to trust, the guy who's made a lot of videos or the guy who actually knows what he's talking about? Um, these are the things you have to consider if you're going to get a puffer fish. They are a great, a really rewarding fish, and they're so personable, they're so interactive. I wish everyone could get one, and I'm glad that the King of DIY's got one because he has got that reach that he can he can bring that to a huge audience, and everyone can get interested in them. We can learn a lot more about them, and we can enjoy these things. So that is a positive. I just wish he would take a little bit more care about what he's telling people. Um, by all means, join all these forums, ask people questions. Just don't blindly accept what one guy who has a lot of videos um, is telling you, because I know from experience it's not usually the truth. So while I love the puffer fish and I, I'm really glad that more people might be getting a chance to get them here, I, I just worry about that little bit of misinformation or not necessarily misinformation, I'm sure there was nothing malicious there that he was doing, but it's just wrong information again from the king of DIY. It, the reason that it is deadly is because you have to get your, as Corey said in that video, you're responsible for getting the air out of that puffer because if you don't, it's likely to be fatal. Uh, I've read about it dozens of times. I've never seen it myself, thankfully. Um, but yeah, it's not just a, oh, it's cool, it'll be fine, it's only a short distance. That's just not how it works. Happy as I am that he's spreading the word about how great puffers are. I hope everyone that does decide to go out and get a puffer um, enjoys them as much as I did when I had mine. I'm certainly going to try and get another one when I get there. I'm really looking for a Mabu puffer now because I know that gives me a little bit more options in terms of compatibility with other tank mates. And I have my nice big discus display tank that's possibly a good place to keep one, but we shall see. So as it is the season of goodwill, I would like to pass some of that goodwill along to Joey and say Merry Christmas and season's greetings and all that. And thank you for bringing puffers to the forefront of the aquarium hobby. And I know that because of that massive reach that you've got with that audience, that is a good thing. And um, I can only be happy that more people will be talking about puffers. But one quick word to that army of fans that Joey does have, please. Don't bother coming back to me to tell me I should keep my opinions to myself. This is my channel. I'll say what the hell I want to say on my channel. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Go and kiss someone else's bottom for a while. Um, that's what you do on YouTube. You give your own opinions about things. If you don't like it, by all means, tell me. I love the comments. Um, but think it through. I'm not going to... Just because you don't like what I'm saying doesn't mean I'm going to stop saying these things. But other than that, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon. Bye!